just a few moments. We're very happy to have you. Relax and uh, get ready. From Star Wars groupies to comic book enthusiasts, super fans come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. But only in Hollywood will you find a group of fanatics that break every nerdy stereotype out there. The first myth we unravel is that girls aren't interested in geeky stuff like comic books and video games. Wrong. I'm into World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is a MMORG. It's massive. It's a whole bunch of geeks. We play a game, and we're really nerdy. For me, I've liked Star Wars in 77. I've been a big fan, and it was just fun. I'm sort of uh, digressing, is that the right word? Regressing into my childhood and uh, having a good time swinging sabers. Video games, comic books, anime, manga, anything nerdy, I can pretty much find me, like, enjoying it. <laughs> Occasionally, people give me a hard time. They'll try to quiz me or grill me and see if I'm really into what I say I'm into. But for the most part, people are just really happy to see that there's either a girl into it or just another person that's into the same things that they're into. Another myth we debunked is that fanatics are sad and single. Well, in a word or three, not in Hollywood. Here, they quickly find each other and they find love. I was lucky enough to find uh, uh, to marry a woman who uh, loves toys. Uh, not quite as much as I do, but uh, but she uh, she's into them and uh, she likes comic books too. And uh, I try not to. I try not. I, before that, I tried not to date anybody who was gonna look on it too negatively. As far as affecting my relationships, it's strengthened mine. Uh, my boyfriend's very much into comic books um, and video games, and so it's been a really nice thing to bond with one another and enjoy an activity together and kind of geek out together. <laughs> See, in the world of Hollywood endings, even geeks have love lives. In fact, this World of Warcraft fan took her devotion one step further. I do horlore.com, that's what this is. We turned World of Warcraft into um, a porno. My buddy told me to, you know, he goes, man, you ever like want to see one of the characters like naked? And I'm like, yeah, come on, we all do, right? He says, all right, we'll play this game and we'll try to make a porn. Just, you know, tell me what you think. And we made porn out of it and now it's huge. <laughs> Warlord.com is, um, it's pretty much Warcraft and porn. It's, I don't know, you have to, like, look at it. Here's another stereotype we're out to bust. All true Star Wars fans make up weird names for themselves. My name is Caden Jorel. I'm actually a great Jedi. I'm the only great Jedi. Uh, my Sith Lord name is Darth Kurgan. My Jedi name is Genzo Valaris. Okay, maybe that one's true. But how about this myth? Uber fans are generally unattractive and overweight. Take a look at this sampling. Seems in Hollywood land, they're hip, they're buff? Why, they're almost as hot as some Hollywood stars. Did somebody say recession? Hmm, well, this is Hollywood where money is said to be no object, and enthusiasts don't seem to hesitate to drop a bunch of cash on their hobby. It does get rather expensive. My saver loan was about $400, so it is, it is an investment in time and money, and, and there's a lot of money that goes into it, so it can be expensive. Uh, the most extreme thing I've done is build this thing. This thing is uh, a lot of money, a lot of time, but uh, you just saw the kids, they love it. I certainly spent plenty of uh, summer job money at the comic shop, that's for sure, um, and uh, during college buying toys all the time. Just uh, go to work study and then after work study, after big exam, go to the mall and buy an action figure. My wife says, oh, every time you buy a toy, you're taking a toy out of your child's hand. But what's truly the best thing about being a super fan in Hollywood, no one makes fun of you, no matter what you're into. I've never had to defend my loyalty or like my name because everyone that I was around pretty much was like me, just enjoying it. So there was nothing I really had to defend. I've, I've never, I never had anybody make fun of me for being a comic book nerd. I guess that's just hanging out with the right people. Fair enough. And this is pretty much true no matter what you're into or where you live. And not only in Hollywood. Jake Gyllenhaal, a handsome 27-year-old Oscar-nominated actor. He once dated Kirsten Dunst. Right now, he's Reese Witherspoon's main man. The two met on his latest movie, Rendition. But 17 years ago, Jake